In this video, we're going to talk about how to divide a whole number by a fraction. So let's say we want to divide 12 by 2 over 3. How can we do this? Well, the first thing that we want to do is rewrite 12 as 12 over 1. 12 divided by 1 is 12. So we could do that. Now, the next thing we need to do is change division to multiplication. And when we do that, we need to flip the second fraction. So we're going to find a reciprocal of 2 over 3, which is 3 over 2. And you could do that. Perhaps you heard of the expression keep, change, flip. You keep the first part the same, change division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. So now at this point, we need to multiply across. So 12 times 3 is 36. And 2 times 1, or 1 times 2, is 2. Now we need to simplify. So we have 36 over 2. This is the same as 36 divided by 2. And half of 36 is 18. So that's the answer for this example. Now, for the sake of practice, let's try a few more examples. Try this one. Divide the whole number 9 by the fraction 6 over 5. Take a minute and work on that example. So let's begin. We're going to write 9 as 9 over 1. Next, we're going to change division to multiplication. And then we're going to flip the second fraction. So 6 over 5 becomes 5 over 6. Now the next thing we need to do is multiply across. So 9 times 5 is 45. And then 1 times 6 is 6. So we have 45 over 6. Now 6 doesn't go evenly into 45. So we need to reduce or simplify the fraction. How can we do that? Now we know that 45 is 9 times 5. 6 is 3 times 2. So you want to break down the large numbers into smaller numbers. 9, we can write 9 as 3 times 3 because 3 times 3 is 9. So we have this. Notice that we could cancel a 3. So we're left with 3 times 5, which is 15, over 2. So this right here is the final answer for the second example. Now let's move on to our next example. Go ahead and divide 24 by 16 over 3. Take a minute to do that. So let's write 24 as 24 over 1. And then let's change division to multiplication. Now we need to find the reciprocal of the fraction 16 over 3. We could do that by simply flipping it. So that becomes 3 over 16. So that's what we now have. Now before we multiply across, we want to simplify because 24 times 3 will give us a big number. 24, we can write that as 8 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. Now what about 16? What numbers do you think we should break up 16? 16 is 4 times 4. Also, 16 is equal to 8 times 2. Now I would use 8 times 2 because we have an 8 here that we can cancel. And now we're going to get our final answer. So multiplying across, we have 3 times 3, which is 9. And on the bottom, we have 1 times 2, which is 2. So the answer for this one is 9 over 2. Now let's work on a challenge problem. So let's say we have 36 and we want to divide it by 54 over 12. Go ahead and take a minute to work on that. So let's write 36 as 36 over 1, and let's change division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. So 54 over 12 becomes 
12 over 54. Now let's simplify. What numbers can we break 36 down? We can write 36 as 6 times 6, 9 times 4, 12 times 3. Now 54 is also divisible by 9, so let's write 36 as 9 times 4. And we can write 54 as 9 times 6. Now 12, we can write that as 2 times 6. 12 could be 3 times 4, 6 times 2, but 6 times 2 is the best because we can cancel out a 6, and here we can cancel a 9. So we're left with 4 times 2 on the top, a 1 on the bottom, so we get 8 over 1, which is 8. And so that's it for this video. Now you know how to divide a whole number by a fraction. Thanks for watching.